Hey loves, welcome to Robo's High. This is going to be another general reading for Scorpio for the next 24 to 48 hours. So let's go ahead and jump right on into it, starting off with the Life Series Tarot. Then we'll get some intuitive messages with my index cards and close it off with affirmation cards just to see what spirit has for us, all right? Overall, so please take what resonates, leave the rest. Let's jump right into it. I see the fours. I'm not going to be taking any reversals. All right. Uh, uh, four of and the four of wands there makes me feel that you guys have, um, <laughs> you've been really utilizing your time. You know what I'm saying? It's like you going out, enjoying yourself has brought in some type of peace for you, some comfort for you, rather than staying, you know, to yourself all the time. You've allowed some room for fun so that's nice to see for a Scorpio I know sometimes we can be a bit recluse all right you have the full energy here and so I do feel that you guys have been feeling like you know starting something new starting something fresh uh taking some type of leap of faith on something you could be signing new contracts you could be you know getting into new commitments in some way shape or form but I feel that you're deciding not to limit yourself at this time you're willing to take the risk. What's the life without no risk? <laughs> okay, camp. All right, let's see what else we got for Scorpio. Ooh, yeah, see, you're changing. The will is here. I also feel that, you know, th this is good fortune. You know, things are working in your favor because you're releasing fears, you're releasing doubts, you're releasing anything that has tempted you to stay stagnant or stay the way that you used to be, all right? You're allowing this change and you are blossoming in it, okay? Queen of Wands, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> all right, we know this is the beauty queen, so I feel that you guys have been focused on not only feeling good and doing what you feel is best, but looking good while you're doing it, you know? So it's like you are highly attractive at this time. I feel that there are a lot of people around you that are starting to see this growth and this change in you, and they like it. It's almost as though, like, you know, like Cinderella. <laughs> like, you've been in the house, hooped up, doing your regular, regular cleaning up and shit, and, you know, just staying to yourself, not really allowing any room for fun because of whatever blockages were um, in front of you, evil stepsisters or whoever the case may be. But I feel that you've now come out of that shell. You've come out of that space. And now everybody is able to see. And it's like, who the fuck is that? Who is Scorpio? Where have they been all my life? Well, it's like, you've been right here. You've been right here, but you haven't really shown yourself, exposed yourself. And I feel that you have this glow about you. You are definitely looking highly attractive at this time. Hmm. <laughs> all right, what else we got for Scorpio? Let's see, got to split down. Don't be afraid to, you know, spend a little change on yourself. Take a risk on yourself. Do something that is really going to be good for you. The fool, the will, and the queen of wands also reminds me of independence. Yeah, you are completing some cycles here. The fact that the will and the uh, world card came out, I, I feel like I need to call out specific signs you could be dealing with. Um, Fixed energy with those two in particular, you could be dealing with another Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, or Aquarius, but I feel that there's definitely someone in your energy that has inspired this change. Whether it comes from a negative or positive space, it doesn't matter. It's how you received it, okay? So someone could have been trying to, like, you know, create doubts or create fears within you, and it really just initiated you to be even more rebellious, um, even more rebellious, even more willing and open to change okay it's like you're not allowing anybody to knock you down you're accepting compliments you're accepting positivity but it's still not something that you are necessarily dependent upon as i said i get this strong independence energy so you look at yourself and you tell yourself i feel good i look good i'm good and i feel that's what works for you at this time scorpio rather than waiting for someone to validate you or anything to validate you you've already given yourself that intention you set the intention at the very top of your day like we're having a good day. I don't care what, you know, happens. I know that I'm good regardless. And so this has created this closure for you. This has created this safety net for you to be able to trust in the universe, to be able to trust that, you know, I don't, it doesn't matter what happens. I'm always going to be okay. Okay. 
What else we got here for Scorpio? That's a beautiful thing, you know what I'm saying? I feel that there's a lot of negativity that cannot touch you because you're in that positive energy. It's like it's not welcome. It's not welcome. It kind of bounces right off of you because it isn't something that you're willing to receive, okay? You got the three of swords coming out here. So as I said, any negativity, any heartbreak, any um, doubts, fears, betrayals, things that have hurt you, I feel that those are the things that you're closing out. It's like you have learned and accepted whatever needed to be learned and accepted from those experiences for what they are, okay? Maybe you spend a lot of time in the past dwelling on, uh, you know, things that happened, things that hurt you, and it was keeping you stuck, okay? As I said, I was getting that Cinderella energy, like evil stepsisters, basically allowing them to instill the fear in her that if I attempt to do anything or go any other route, then I'm going to be disciplined or I'm going to create some type of issue or I'm going to ruffle feathers. And then realizing like, I can do what the fuck I want to do once I stop limiting myself, once I stop allowing people to control me. So maybe there was someone or even just a thought with the swords energy that controlled you and uh, made you feel aware about yourself, made you feel insecure about yourself or uh, just limited, caged in, and now you're finally free from that, okay? What else we got for Scorpio? Take those and then I will close this one out. All right, we have the Five of Cups here, the Hermit. And I am the two of wands, all right? So I do feel that you're searching for a greater cause at this time. You're searching for something more. It's almost as though like you, you've released so much um, of what is expected of you. You release what you're used to. Mm -hmm. We have the ten of wands at the very bottom. Any burdens, any issues has created this accomplishment for you. So now that you've accomplished certain goals, um, at times you could, I'm getting like a moody energy with the five of cups coming through in the middle here and you wanted to go out and gain more. It's like you were sitting here like lost and thinking about what, like, you know, lost and daydreaming, stuck in this type of like whimsical energy to where it kept you, it kept you stagnant, it kept you, um, still. And I feel that now that you have understood a higher purpose understood like you know what your true happiness means what abundance means what um gratitude means it has absolutely nothing to do with material gain or has nothing to do with um you know people's representation or people's perception of you thank you i feel that this is more of a you understanding what you feel and think of yourself and now that you've come to the space of being happy with yourself, being okay with yourself, feeling grateful to be in your own skin, it has really broadened you to a space of wondering what you can, you know, do moving forward, where you could go, how you could continue to be a part of, I, I feel like a lost world is what I'm hearing, even seeing like the five of cups and then the two of wands is almost as though like you know you're in good spirits you're excited you feel good you look good but that still does not eliminate the the environment that you've been in you cannot convince other people that there's a, a life worth living you cannot convince other people that you know happiness is is within you cannot convince them to love on themselves or do the inner work it's like you have to just kind of endure them being around you and being lost okay and i feel that your challenge is to not allow that to overwhelm you at this time scorpio because it may even break your heart to see some people that you truly love and truly adore lost it's like you know they could be so happy they could be so well off if they would just do the work if they would seek inner guidance if they would take some time to heal you know that they would be better off but it seems as though you you're going to do this little battle of like you know i feel good i feel great but now who am i going to share it with who am i going to enjoy it with if everyone else seems to be so negative and you know i'm getting this wow wow wubsy type of energy like doom and gloom like how can i take what i've learned how can i take what i have you know gain the wisdom that I have 
and, and help people to realize that we have so much more to live for. All right, so I'm definitely getting like this um, like humanitarian type of energy. All right, like philanthropists, like you, you, you just are starting to feel like, man, I wish I could help these people. But I feel spirit is wanting you to not overwhelm yourself with it because people are um, going to have to go through their own experience, their own transformation, their own change. Um, you can inspire, of course, because the Queen of Wands is here, but it's through doing, not through, you know, you trying to convince them. Alrighty. So even on here, I know a lot of the Scorpios are tarot readers. Like we can try to pump up people and be positive, be optimistic, stay hopeful and all that good stuff. But there's only so much you can do. There's only so much convincing that you could, you know, portray. It's like people are really going to only gain what they can gain from the space that they're currently in if it's um you know coming from a space of being healed coming from the space of only wanting to receive positivity only wanting to receive things of abundance that are going to actually help them become their better selves then they may actually gain something from listening to you whereas if they're just automatically feeling betrayed or doom and gloom looking for you know, someone to feel sorry for them, victimized type of mentality. If they never are willing to take accountability for not doing the work themselves, there's only so much you can do as a leader, okay? So just be mindful not to allow their energy to overwhelm you so much so that you become them, all right? Stay in your up and up is what I'm getting, Scorpio, all right? A little deep. So let's go ahead and get some messages from a person that may be on your mind, Scorpio, for the person that has you on their mind let's see what they would like to say to you at this time i don't know why i always feel led to call these text messages so i'll just uh move forward calling them that we're gonna get some text messages scorpio from the person that has you on their mind oh baby i want the whole thing split the deck and this is what we're getting here new love could be coming from a fire sign aries leo sagittarius but someone is definitely feeling like hey you know um i know what i want now <laughs> They know what they want now. This person could have been, um, I'm hearing indecisive because they felt as though they could not find anyone to uh, match their energy. I feel like this person is very exciting. They're very like, you know, optimistic. They're, you know, a positive type of energy. And so maybe they were also experiencing the idea that they're never going to find their soulmate. They're never going to find anyone to match that. It's like everybody is so upset or so like damaged and broken about their past or about their current that they cannot realize their blessing okay so i feel this person that is coming towards you scorpio whether you've met them or not i do get more of a new energy so i feel that this is someone that you could be dating or someone that you're going to meet um they're coming in very optimistic they're coming in very positive light energy and i feel that a uh, spirit is also just making you aware not to overwhelm them with um, your possible issues, okay? <laughs> when you heal and you go through things and you truly feel like you've learned the lesson, you've gained some type of new knowledge or wisdom, it will make you feel more like um, you didn't lose anything or, you know, it, it kind of compensates for the pain when you know that everything is happening in your higher favor, okay? What else we got? Messages for the person that has Scorpio on their mind. What would they like to say to Scorpio at this time? So we already got new love. And baby, I want the whole thing. So they like, they want you. They want you, you know, wholeheartedly is what I'm getting. Yeah, we have, can we make some love? Okay. Oh, wow. And so I feel that this person, they are, you know, getting to the space of wanting to really get to know you more. I just heard become more exclusive with you. Maybe this person is going to ask for more of your time. Um, I feel like they enjoy your lovable side they enjoy the fact i saw 1414 okay um i feel like they enjoy the fact that you are i'm hearing empathetic all right they like that you're nurturing okay i do see the green energy that pinnacle energy towards virgo capricorn energy that you may possess scorpio or this person does but i feel like they mostly appreciate the fact that you are a lover and not a drama type of person not um you know chaotic not you know impulsive even they like that you take your time to care 
for yourself. You take the time to nurture yourself. You take the time to heal. You take the time to consider other people's feelings rather than just your own. So they appreciate that you're not um, selfish, okay? They love that you are uh, very nurturing to not only yourself, but those around you and them most of all. <laughs> All right, I get the feeling this person appreciates um, more in particular because I see the Queen of Wands is popping through. They love how you like your your style, your aesthetic. They like that. Um, with the will coming out as well, they like that you change things up. The world coming out, they like that you don't stick to one way of being like, you know, all the time. It's like they never know what they're going to get fucking with you, Scorpio. And they like the thrill of that. You know, we, we saw new love. So it's to them like they're dating someone new every single time. But the same Scorpio, the same heart, the same nurturing energy. But the aesthetic, it's like you keep your shit up you know, all the time in this person, they really, really do appreciate that. They see that as a sign of self-love and they love it. They love it. They could be the same. They could be the same way. All right. If you're a feminine and you're dealing with a masculine, you could notice that they are constantly, you know, fresh. They smell good, haircut, you know, they're, they're really like well kept, well kept. And I feel that you may be too, Scorpio. And that's something that you guys have in common. I get them racked, all right? So I do feel that this person, they may be very busy. Look, okay, we have, um, can we make some love? And I get them racked. So I feel that in between them getting their money and getting their life together, they understand that, you know, there's going to be times when you need love, you need passion, you need someone to nurture you, bring, like, uplift your spirits. It's, like, more than just money, okay? This person could have been just a go-getter, hustler, whatever, you know, just out there doing their thing, like a workaholic. But I feel like them meeting you has given them this newfound inspiration. It's like, okay, I usually don't care too much about anything else, but I want more time. I want more time with Scorpio. I, I got to get to my bag. I got to get to the money. But, um... Oh, uh, at the eye, run up that bag, I'm through. Listen to that. Um, but I feel this person that, like, I, I have a life to still, like, maintain. I have certain things, priorities, responsibilities. However, I want to squeeze Scorpio in there. I want Scorpio to be a regular um, priority of mine in my life because of how nurturing Scorpio is. It's like, you, you, whatever you're doing with this person um, or talking about, oh, whatever the case may be, how you guys connect, it really inspires them beyond just, you know, them wanting to be up under you. They really are willing to make a sacrifice. Like, you know, they realize that you're important, you know? So oh, this person, they, they see you as something necessary that they need in their life, all right? You inspire them to, you know, continue to be great, to continue to be positive, to continue to be, who they are. They like that you appreciate them. All right. I feel like you may compliment this person a lot. You may acknowledge their efforts a lot. They like that. They feel seen by you and it just makes them want to be even better for you. I like that. What else we got for the person that has Scorpio on their mind? Yeah. Look, like I said, we already said that good energy, that good karma. All right. So it's like they feel like you must be their good karma. You know, they, they really are coming to a place. I'm, I'm here of transformation. You guys are seemingly meeting each other right at the right time. This is divine time. And this could feel like your divine counterpart simply because they, they've they already gotten through their little rough phase, okay? I get the feeling that this person could have been a bit selfish in the past or dramatic in the past, player, uh, hustler, whatever in the past. But I feel they've matured and now that they've encountered you it's like this is their gift for leveling up this is their gift for changing their ways and they genuinely feel that way and so they're wanting to hold on to it they want to hold on to it i feel this person has experienced some things in the past um i feel like it in particular a very significant loss they lost something or someone and it really woke them up that they never want to experience the type of like unnecessary loss like that again. So meeting you, they're, they're willing to cherish you, okay? It's like they never want to lose you, Scorpio. They really see some type of potential in you, this person, okay? We'll get two more and we'll close this one out for you, Scorp. Look, 
catch a four leaf clover twin energy this person like i said this is a lot of like good karma good luck uh wish come true dream come true um like i said i'm getting that cinderella vibe again like you know the shoe fits if the shoe fits type of energy take resonates <laughs> but i feel that someone sees it as it's like finally i found someone that fits the shoe I've been wanting this. I've been wanting to provide this type of nurturing, loving energy that I have all in me. And I never really felt like I found my twin. I never felt like I found someone that gets it, that appreciates me, my efforts, um, understands me. You understand this person. You give them the things that they felt they were missing. And so they definitely see you as their good luck charm, their good karma, like that four leaf clover that they've been waiting for and they're damn sure not gonna let it go they're like what can i do to hold on to this okay can we can we really make some love can i show you that you have no other you know you don't have to look any further you don't have to look any further scorpio i got you is what this person wants to show you last card what's in your world person they want you and only you they want to get lost in that world and as i was talking about earlier kind of like you were daydreaming possibly scorpio or you could have been like a bit stagnant at first i feel like this person they were kind of it's given a lot of like fairy tale i keep getting all these like different analogies of fairy tale cinderella mirror mirror on the wall like sleeping beauty and shit like that i feel like this person they sensed it and they could have been asking for uh, a soulmate you know and may, i'm not even getting in a literal sense like maybe you're a bit deep scorpio maybe you journal maybe you manifest i feel this person they knew what they wanted but they just kind of ignored it and kept on you know hoping and wishing but you know getting their money and just minding their business okay knowing with that you know if i'm dealing with someone that doesn't feel right i'm not going to make certain gestures certain offers it's like they wouldn't even take it there they wouldn't take people seriously they meet you and they're like, oh, this is it. This is that thing. This is that that feeling that I've been, you know, looking forward to. This is my one. This is my four-leaf clover. I finally found what I've been, you know, looking to find. And so they're clear about that. They're very clear about it. Whether you're new to them or not, they're clear that your energy, the energy you possess is what they've been looking for. And they're not going to let go. They don't want to let go. So this person, they may propose some type of um, offer to you in regards to being exclusive or, you know, um, spending more time. Okay, this person, they may not flat out ask you if you're dating anyone else or if you're interested or anything like that. I feel like this person is just going to continue to show you what they have to offer and allow you to come up with that decision on your own. So I do love the fact that they're not looking to rush you into, you know, reciprocating their energy, like trying to force you to be theirs or force you to be exclusive. They want you to choose them. They want you to feel that they are the one. They want you to feel the same thing that they feel. And so they're like, can I show you through my love that you know what i feel for you and if you're feeling the same way then let's go ahead and lock it down so that's what i have for you guys scorpio i absolutely love this energy for you i'm hearing about damn time <laughs> i feel that you guys deserve it of course um and so this is really what i have for the next 24 to 48 hours i'll close it on off with one final card from spirit overall message for you scorpio I like this person's energy. I like that they're not rushing. They're not trying to, um, you know, force anything upon you. They want you to, you know, see what their their flow is and kind of ride that wave with them. All right. I like that. One final card, overall message for Scorpio. Page of Swords, okay? This is the message. The message is coming through. This person, <laughs> they could be watching you. So I do feel that if you don't know who they are, they surely already know who you are. And they've been watching and paying attention to your styles. I said they really appreciate how you, you know, how you get down, how you move, how you interact with people. Yeah, see that single and ready energy. This person, they're fresh, they're ready. Again, we got the red energy, so it could be a fire sign that's coming towards you, Scorpio. But I feel like they, 
they're ready to commit and they're going to deliver some type of message to you with this being um the card of curiosity as well as like spying i feel that this person may even let you know that they've been watching you for a while and they've been interested for a while maybe they didn't know um if you were single or ready but uh, they are willing to throw themselves out there they're shooting their shot like, hey, whether you are or not, you know, I'm I'm definitely going to put myself out there. And if you reciprocate the energy, then I know we'll be saying, okay? So this person, they're definitely going to open up, open up the box, open up their mouth, closed mouth, don't get fed. This person is going to open up and let you know how they feel. That's what I have. I love you guys. See you next time.